versatile running back. He's coming off a better week. Over Look at that Major P coming in hard. Super hard. Welcome back to the Atlanta show. Here we are. I think it was week 10. Oh no, he may have said it already. I don't know. Here we go. Fall is forecasted to hit the Twin Cities, but right now, calm outside, and of course, a calm day inside. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And we are underway from downtown Minneapolis. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So here's the Viking offense making their way out. They'll be led out by a seventh-year pro and a literal rocket scientist. Here's Joshua Dobbs. And no excitement, unless, the, unless you're on the defensive team of last week, in his numbers. Because the only excitement he really generated was the one interception he threw. Yeah, no touchdown pass. Yeah, and his team wasn't real thrilled about that. And they lost the game. So, I know this week has been tough on him because he's been working hard. Fundamentals, footwork, finding the right targets. Here we go. As usual, Major P runs the defense. So don't blame me if anything happens. Five catches, 60 yards. Hard on the offense. <clears throat> Great of the season. Well, Great of the team. Brooklyn Thunderbirds. Let's go. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Here's Dobbs to throw. Going underneath, he's got Hawkinson. And Hawkinson's going to have the Vikings first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. It's a pickup of six. So the assignment, a tough one here for this defense. You've got a quarterback ranked in the top five in passing yards. What do they need to do to try to keep him under wraps? Well, they didn't sleep a whole lot getting ready for this one. I can guarantee you there's just so much to combat. But I think they're going to zero in on taking away his top target. Double, triple him if they have to. Make the other guys rise up and try and beat them. They'll feel a whole lot better if those guys win in the routes instead of their number one guy. Come on, come Second on. and ten. Throwing here, Dobbs. And his throw is going to be incomplete. When you look at this defense. This unit coming into this one ranked number 20 against the pass in the NFL. And those are the kind of plays that this unit needs to make because they know that going against a team of this magnitude and the way that they're playing, they cannot afford to let them get on a roll early. Chip away at their timing. To throw is Dobbs. And this is going to be incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. All right, there we go. Major P coming out, taking a stop right there. Thunderbirds get the ball. This is taken at the 15. I need a lot in the ball. Return team. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. So the special teams penalty costs some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he's going to step out of bounds all the way down on the other side of midfield. And what a big-time play there. 45 yards. 45 yards. I think that's Major P's longest run. I mean, I'm going to have to watch the other games. 45 yards? It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, yeah, that. That's right. That's right. I take that back. It's the farthest one this time. That's their weakness. And by the way, I think you harped on it. Okay, we've got to go to the screen pass. Here we go. So the big play gets him across the screen to the left. For first and 10. He'll look to throw. Oh. I tell you, I don't know those guys, all of them guys, let's try something. Sure you hit it just right. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. 
Crossing route catch made by Johnson. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 25-yard line. Hands it off out of the gun. And he will take this one in for a Now touchdown. that was probably one of your longest the running touchdowns. With his ninth he said one of the year. Running <laughs> well, I said one. I said one of your longest runs. One of the keys to their long way. <laughs> he's like, just, he's waited. Nice. What a run. HP. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Learn to find your stride at the end of the season. I guess. Some teams I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. Tucker with the extra point, and that makes the score seven nothing. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. And the Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. K.J. Osborne, the one he was looking for. And it's second down. But you look at this defense, currently number one in the NFL against the run. Now if they could just get their pass defense in line, this unit would be really, really strong. And remember the conversation with the defensive coordinator? He wants them to rush the passer better. He wants to see the quarterback on the ground. They've got to create some sacks. And he said it starts early and often. We'll see if we can get to him. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. They get 14 there. First down, Vikings. Here's Dobbs to throw. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. One thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. Off the play fake. Here's Dobbs. He gets it to Addison. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Out of the gun, Dobbs. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. He'll get just a yard on the scramble at second down. Dobbs. Finding Hawkinson here on the outrun. And now a fumble. The ball's out. This will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. You can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carried around a lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. No big surprise. Micah Parsons doing what he does so well, dropping him for a loss. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. A sizable gain there, nine yards as they get it back to a third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the shotgun, here's Dobbs. That's out to the flat for Akers. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another okay, nice ready. play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Dobbs thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Demario Davis. And he will be brought down, but he's... I mean, look at that. At the last seconds the of the first quarter... Made to pee. Picks it off. 
Was it me? I think it was. I think it switched to me when you caught it because I was over there. The Mario baby. After one seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now. It's Brooklyn in possession. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they come into this one riding that nice long win streak. And remember, next weekend is an open week for them. So that if they can get the win here, a lot of momentum into that time off. It certainly is. And if you're wondering if anybody's saying, boy, this is coming at a bad time, we want to keep playing. The answer can be yes, because when teams are on a hot streak, they want to keep going. But what the veterans are telling the young guys in the locker room, an open week is always good, guys. Take it and let's go with it. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Second and a couple. Now a handoff running through the middle. There he goes, left side. Now he's free at the three. He could go. Oh, the way, baby. How did that major pitch? His second touchdown of the game, giving him 12 on the season. And the Thunderbirds have taken a two touchdown lead now. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. A drive there of just four plays. And the finishing touch was that nice long run into the end zone. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. And they're in a bind early here, down 14 nothing. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But th there he goes, right side. A big play there for Minnesota. 41 yards. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't hey, given hey. much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. They'll run on first down with Akers. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. It's a gain of 11 as the Vikings pick up the first. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Going right back to Akers. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Ready. Dobbs is throwing. And that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. It'll lead to a fourth down. But nearly another Check interception pick. there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. And they'll accept that penalty. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Osborne motions left. 
And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. And that one never got off the ground. He's going to be stopped up well behind the line of scrimmage. It was Joey Bosa working his way in to bust that one up. Well, as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. Let's go now. 18 Rattler, 18 Rattler. Dobbs now on second down. And that is incomplete here. He's second in the NFL in interceptions, and you understand why. He plays the game with great intelligence, understands positioning, and has a great ability to break on the football when it's in the air. So fun to watch his closing speed and another example of it on that play. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice okay, already. Right here. here comes third and goal. Back to throw Dobbs. He'll check this down to Akers out of the backfield. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. Well, there certainly was a lot going on on that play. Every option in the end zone covered. No place to go with the ball. Had to swing it out to the back. A good job running and getting him tackled in the open field. Blankenship's kick is good. But now there is a penalty marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. And that flag accepted. Oh, talk about getting screwed right now. So now the is with he's got him set up with a first and goal. Now Dobbs. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. Chris Moore, his first touchdown on the year. And the Vikings have cut it back within a score. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. From his end zone, here's Rashid Shaheed. And he returns this to the 22. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, Try to get the number one seed so you get that first round bye and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. Back to throw here. Over the middle complete. It's Johnson. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Hey. On first down, he'll drop to throw, eluding the pressure right. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Now a second and ten. Back to throw again. Here's Johnson with a reception. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 13-yard line. 
Again, he'll drop to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Reed Blankenship. And the Vikings are going to take over at their own 13 yard line. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one possession game. And that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning to points for the other side. On first and 10, Dobbs. Slant route, and he's got Addison. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. A give up the middle to Akers. And he will perhaps get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. And time has run out on this first half. Past the halfway point of the season and now past the halfway point of this game. We skip halftime and get right back to the action. Set to begin the third quarter. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. This fielded right at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. And Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead. Now a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it is really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game as a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it, and in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. Following the penalty, they'll go back to the run game. And he'll be taken down at the 18. Tackle made there by Jordan Hicks. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that. And that really chips away at your confidence. And he'll be dropped at the 36. It's a good gain of 18 on a play that originated back at the 18. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, he'll hand this off. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Now a good job shifting right, finding his target. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 187 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They're going to look to throw. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. And quickly they get to the line. They'll set up a throw. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Here we go on fourth down. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one.
They'll try to run this one in. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Thunderbirds take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Tucker with the extra point. And it's yeah, now it should be, it should be 20, 23. Points. But, uh, yeah. Major P, three Tucker touchdowns. Tucker now to kick it away eight. following the touchdown. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. It's the Vikings' turn on offense. We get ready for their first possession of the second half. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, magical spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. They'll go again here with Akers. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Before they can get the punt away, whistles as we've come to the end. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. It's the Vikings in possession of the football, but they need some points. They're trailing here to start the fourth. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jamel Dean. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air, escaping the pressure right. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. They'll set up to throw. Oh, Adams, what a grab. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And not going to be able to push this forward. He runs into a wall right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. He'll look to throw. And he is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll look to throw now on first down. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. From 17 yards out. And the Thunderbirds add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. If you're going to play quarterback in the NFL, you've got to have great vision, and you've got to remain calm when things break down in the pocket. 
Both of those traits were on display there. He surveys the situation, sees the middle of the field open, so he's just going to step up and take it himself. Very well done there. admit I'm scratching my head a little bit here trying to make sense of what I just saw number one huge lead just kick the extra point and be done with it number two if you are going to go for two just line up and go for it from the two yard line why make it so difficult that's a long way to go to try and pick up some points and from back there a wise move he'll just sit on this one and it'll come out to the 25 and now out comes Minnesota well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory, but it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side in this one. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing here, Dobbs. Being chased out left. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. And they're going to speed things up here. Here's Dobbs to throw. And he's unable to haul it in. So it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field. And that brings up fourth. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. Got no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Dobbs looking to throw on first down. Over the middle and complete to Addison. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. On first down, Dobbs to throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by the linebacker, Demario Davis. Down the left sideline. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. I was sitting there, waiting to use the payphone. Who turned around and tipped his hat like this? That's right. Demario! Now Tucker to add the PAT. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And this is caught out in the left flat. I know they're not asking me, but I'll give you my opinion anyway. I think it's I time to erase that play from the call sheet. What, what just happened, guys? That should have been a touchdown. The block was there by Major P, and then the glitch. What a glitch. Just, I mean, what? It, there's, there's the glitch. Like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, the touchdown apparently wasn't enough. They're going to go for the onside kick here. And the Vikings able to recover. Oh, he put her on the carpet. A fumble. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the... Coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Throwing after the interception. Dobbs 
throwing middle, but it's incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. On second down, Dobbs. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Warriors, 70. Dobbs. Got his man complete over the middle. That's more. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Dobbs is throwing. That's out to the flat for Akers. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. Come on, come on. Second and eight coming from the 19. To throw is Dobbs. As always, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe if you like. And also check out our sponsors, Rogue Energy at RogueEnergy.com. Use promo code Outlander. Get 5% off your order. Get hydrated and stay hydrated. See you next time on Madden. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished.